didn't see you guys were there. I'm going to film a packing vlog, which means I'm going to vlog myself packing a suitcase for a trip that I'm going on tomorrow, and we have to leave for the airport basically four in the morning. Okay, but that's partly why I'm like very excited to record this vlog is because if it weren't for you guys, I would be packing at three in the morning. First things first, remove suitcase from closet. All right, how are we gonna get this guy out? Oh. So this is actually a really good tip, trick, whatever, hack, I don't know. You put a suitcase inside of a suitcase inside of a suitcase. So we're going to this island, it's only four nights. I'm the type of person that I will stuff my suitcase until it is about to bust open and risk it breaking before I check in a bag. You know what? I think I'm gonna make it happen. All right, let's, we're gonna pick a swim suit out. This is like completely ridiculous and the fact that I just have essentially like a Santa bag filled with bikinis. Basically dumping this fucking bag out on the ground so I can see what the hell I'm working with. Low battery, huh? Let me come back. Okay, we are charged, we are back in business. This just feels like a little bit overwhelming to me right now and I don't want to deal with it. Maybe if I put music on, that will get me in the packing mood. We've got one swimming suit packed. It's like I need a beach bag, but I also need a tote. Mine completely ripped, like this leather duffel that I've had for a really long time. I just want a cute beach bag, and I have to say this is like pretty cute. So we'd be like this walking around. I'm kind of having buyer's remorse. Like I love it, like it's gorgeous, but now I'm like thinking about the elephant one. So I got a pair of flip flops as well. Okay, a little strappy, simple, what a cute okay and then what oh and then i got a flowy dress which is a little sexy because it's definitely see-through around this area but i kind of love it now let's get to packing i don't think it is possible to procrastinate as much as i have procrastinated today packing and I don't think the vlogging helps, honestly, because I'm just like, now I'm like talking to my friends, I'm just like going off on a tangent, trying shit on for you guys. So we have one bikini now, the pink dress that I tried on, and then I have this little white dress that I got in Tulum that looks like a shirt. Ooh, of course this is out and about. Workout bands, boom. And ask me how many times I've actually ended up using, I almost dropped the camera, using the band to work out. Never, I've never used it one time. But I always take it because I have hope. And this is the vacation where I will end up working out. What is this outfit change number 28? Okay, I think this is the easiest part is every single time you go on vacation, you think you are going to work out. Cause this is actually a traveling tip trick. These gym shorts 
and gym pants are the same color. One I wear at the airport, and then one obviously I wear when I'm there, so I'm not freezing on the way to the airport, and then I have the matching sports bra for both of them. Boom. Hey! One eternity later. Hello, good morning. Uh, we have to leave here in an hour, so if it weren't for you guys, I would be packing really fun. You just can't get in three in the morning. 3:30 a.m. Still not fully packed, and I'm not saying I'm an expert. However, I do have some really good tips. I used to be like obsessed with this little jewelry travel case. I mean, that does not look very organized. You know what I mean, though. And then I was surfing Amazon. This jewelry or like travel jewelry case takes up so much less room. And I feel like it keeps your shit way more organized. And I think it's a very good purchase. Basically what we're left with, toiletries, jewelry, and I need to jump in the shower. And I was gonna wash my hair, but I don't think I don't think Homie has time for that. Several days later. Hi, hello. Did you guys miss me? I left you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger that was done on purpose, maybe. We're not quite sure. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna do a little unpacking situation which I honestly think is going to be way more informative and helpful. This cover-up did not wear. This cover-up did not wear. This cover-up did not wear. And this, I think arguably is the either the cutest cover-up on planet Earth or a very, very revealing dress. This workout outfit did wear great um, and I did not work out when I wore this little orange athleisure wear but for the first time I think in my entire life I did use these booty bands, the red one. This I wore over my workout clothes to dinner to the beach like as a fucking nun outfit, as a sarong, as like a fucking scarf. Like I wore this thing like a motherfucker. So I way overpacked on the cover up side. Underwear, I think I did just right. Bucket hat is a must have, okay? On any vacation, sun or shine or rain or whatever it is, okay. This is like, let's, let me actually tell you guys some good tips and tricks if I've learned anything traveling. Don't forget your passport. But not only that, make sure that it's not going to expire soon because you know how many places, if this shit is about to expire in like six months or whatever, you can't go or come back. And this little bad boy right here cost me like $1,800 to get it overnighted. That was really fun. Sleeping mask. This ain't no ordinary fucking sleeping mask. Let me just tell you right now. Yeah, does this look probably actually insane? It does not matter. This is the best sleeping mask in the entire world. You cannot, there's no light coming through and I'm obsessed. I did bring a book and I did read, let's see how many pages. One two, three, four, almost five pages. And I think that that's pretty incredible. Um, things that I forgot. I forgot a hairbrush. And I think that kind of threw a wrench in the whole, you know, get ready, take care of yourself situation which funny enough my mom forgot a hairbrush as well 
We didn't have a comb. There was no brush. The hotel did not have a hairbrush. I was literally aerial using a thingamabopper asking to use a fork from the restaurant. Not okay. Like I don't remember getting there and thinking to myself, oh fuck, why didn't you pack that? Except the hair, <laughs> the hairbrush was one that, uh, yeah, a little bit. I was like, mmm. Swimming suits. I think I ended up using every single one. Cause that's all I did. All I did. No excursions, did not go on a boat. Did not even snorkel, which I'm kind of pissed about. But I wouldn't have had a hairbrush to untangle the atrocity that happens to your hair when you snorkel. So, you know what? In my defense. But I, I got a tan, if you can't tell. And that's what really counts. And that's Packing 101. Health and wellness bitches are pissed. I meant um, suntan lotion. Sun 